Exhibit A, the weapon, also known as a brick, owned by Exhibit B, the perp, Ignat's mouse, rode an iconoclast. Hey, put that away. Exhibit C, the victim. That, folks, brick plus mouse plus cat is the underlying equation of the allegory known as crazy cat. But let's start at the beginning, shall we? Crazy's got one thing on his mind, Ignatz. But Ignatz despises crazy. A loves B, but B hates A. Hey, that ain't exhibit B. That's a bumblebee. Not the bug's cool. Like a good citizen, he tells crazy to watch out for that trench up ahead. Huh? Sounds like good advice to, uh, uh forget it. Maybe crazy should take a breather. Nobody around. Not exactly a litter box, but it's square, filled with dirt. Hey, Ignatz was laying in wait for that cat. We hit a surprise attack. Eight brick in the cranium pocket. In crazy logic, it all falls into place. Ignatz. The brick is the messenger of love. In shrink lingo, this is called classic projection. For Ignatz, it was the bottom of the ninth, and one brick left. He had to make this one count. It was time to draw a line in the sand. Here's the man, the dog, the officer pup, whatever. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Well, Natch pup wants to protect Crazy from massive contusions to the head. The guardian of the people's in love with Crazy. You see, pup is the third side of our triangle. Assaulting a police dog, operating a brick without a license. Instant karma, Ignatz, baby. Still, Crazy's crazy about old Ignatz. And pup's crazy about crazy. Love, hate, cat, mouse, cop. And brick.